Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit tougher. All right. Um, number 19 and number 21 in your assignments are basically like this. So the, the hardest questions that you'll probably deal with, likely. Uh, right. So I would, I would pay close attention to what's happening here in this problem. So when graphed, the equations x plus 4y equals n and 5x minus 2y equals 10 both have the same y-intercept. Okay, so if I, if I were to graph these, if I were to graph them, they would cross at the same place on the y-axis, right there. Okay, I don't know what that point is though yet. Right, I don't know what the y-intercept is. They didn't tell us. Okay. We don't know it's 10 because neither of these are in slope-intercept form. You'll notice y is not solved for, right? y is not solved for, so we don't know the y-intercept yet. Okay. We've also got this unknown value, value n that we need to find. In context of the problem, n doesn't really mean anything. It's just uh, an obstacle in our way for finding the equation of both of these lines. But one very helpful detail is that we do know these two lines have the same y-intercept. That will be very helpful. Here's how we're going to find this value of n. Okay. Uh, the second equation here does not have n in it. So if we turn that into slope-intercept form, we would know the slope and the y-intercept of that line for sure. Okay, so that's where we're going to start. We're going to take the second equation and we're going to turn it into slope intercept form. How do I do that again? Change sides and stuff. Change sides and stuff, ultimately to what goal? To, to answer y. Intercept form. Or put it in. To solve for y. Right? To change anything into slope intercept form, we solve for y. Okay? So we're going to do that for this second equation. So 5x minus 2y equals 10. We're solving for the second one because that's the one we can gather the most amount of information from. This one has n in it, an unknown value, and that's going to block us from knowing especially the, the y-intercept of that line. But we can know it from the other line, from the information from the other line. So we bring the 5x over. That's 10 minus 5x. And then we divide everything, both sides, we divide everything by negative 2. Okay, so this gives me y equals negative 5 plus 5 over 2x. Okay, and I'm going to rearrange this so that the slope comes first. <coughs> this should be 5 over 2x minus 5. So, do I now know the slope intercept, sorry, the y intercept shared by both of those lines? Mm, yeah. What is it? Uh, five negative, over five. negative 5. Okay? What? Remember this is the y intercept right here. Oh, right. Okay? So, I can modify my diagram a little bit here. And I know that they both cross at negative 5. Okay? That's helpful. The goal now is to figure out this unknown value for n. So we're also going to turn this into slope-intercept form and try to determine as much information as we can about that line after doing so. So I'll do that in blue. Okay? So let's take x plus 4y equals n, put it in slope-intercept form, so bring the x over, treat n just like a variable for now, and divide everything by 4. You mean 4y? Thank you. So this becomes y equals n over 4 minus x over 4. And again, I want the slope to come first. 
So I'm going to put the x term first, should be negative, plus n over 4. So I've just, I've just rearranged these two terms here. Okay, I just switched places. What is the slope of that line? <coughs> of this new line here, the blue one. Negative 1 over 4. So we could also write it like this if this makes it a little lot more obvious. Negative 1 over 4 x plus n over 4. Right? These are the same thing, except I've just pulled the coefficient in front of x, making it a little more obvious. So, one more time. What was the common characteristic shared between these two lines? The y-intercept. The y-intercept. Okay? The y-intercept of the green line we said was negative 5. Therefore, the y-intercept of the blue line should also be negative 5. negative 5. Does it say that right now? No. No. What's preventing us from seeing that? N. N, right? So we need to know what number could we put in for N that would make this whole thing equal negative 5. Negative 20. Negative 20, right? So essentially, what we're saying is this expression right here, n over 4, must be the same thing as negative 5, must equal negative 5. Does that make sense? Because both of those expressions represent the y-intercept of both of those lines. And if I say that they're the <coughs> same, I can equate them to one another and then solve. So we're going to do that. Okay, so just put this over 1, do a little cross multiplication. So 1 times n is just n. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20, just like we suspected. Okay? So now I have figured out that obstacle, that block, that prevented me from seeing what the y-intercept was of this line. And I can write the actual equation. So it be y equals negative 1 quarter x minus 20 over 4 which becomes negative 5, right? And there we go. Let's test on the calculator to make sure this is actually true. Okay, thank you. We're going to graph our two lines to make sure they both share the same y-intercept. Okay, they should cross on the y-axis. So turn your calculators on. All right, where do we go to graph lines? Y equals, we go up there. If there's anything there, just clear it out. Make sure none of your plots are highlighted. And we're going to input our first equation. 5 over 2x. Remember, keep that in brackets. Minus 5. Again, make sure you use this minus sign. Don't use the negative sign. Use the minus sign. If you press down, we can enter a second line, our other equation here. That was negative, this is where you would use the negative sign, negative 1 over 4, x minus 5. Right? And from the equations, you can definitely tell that they do have the same y-intercepts, right? We're going to see that graphically. Just to make sure we have a standard window settings, how do you do that again? Do you remember? Zoom six. zoom 6. So press zoom and then number 6. And there we go. Okay. Do they both cross on the y-axis? Is that point at negative 5? How can we check? Trace. And if it doesn't come up right away as 0, negative 5, just press 0, enter. Boom, there we go. Okay. So we've got even uh, further confirmation that these lines do what they're supposed to do. But again, we had to figure out that value of n in order to find that out.